Hi, we're here today to talk about fuelless generators. And we've got three here in the lineup that we've tested here in our facility. Number one is the Goal Zero Yeti 1250. The second one is the Lion Energy L1500. And the third one is from Solutions from Science, and it's the Perfect Power 1800. Now, I definitely have a point of view about which one I like the best. But what I want to do is make sure you know each of the specs, you know the capabilities, and then let you make the right decision for your needs. The Goal Zero Yeti 1250 is a big device. You can see right now that it's, uh, it's fairly large and it weighs about 103 pounds. So it comes with this carrying case here and also some wheels, but that's something to keep in mind. It's not something that you're going to want to wheel into the back country. Rather, it's a type of device that you're going to probably have to take in your car and then drop off somewhere. Uh, the 1250 has been popular with the camping and hiking crowd and it does have uh, quite a large battery. It's got a 1250 watt battery, uh, which allows it to run things for uh, quite a while, just so, just so that you have a, a frame of reference. If you're powering something that's 100 watts, technically you would be able to run that for 12.5 hours. Now with inverter inefficiency, you're not gonna quite get that much. But of the three units we're looking at today, it's got the biggest battery capacity. However, charging it up is an issue. If you wanna plug it right into the wall, it's going to take you 16 to 20 hours. That's a long time to get this thing back up, to, back up and running. If you want to charge it with a 100 watt uh, solar panel, it's going to take you somewhere between 27 and 54 hours. So it's something to keep in mind uh, as you're looking for the right generator. The other thing, and the thing that uh, is a little bothersome for me, is the battery technology. Uh, this is not lithium ion but rather this is what we call lead acid. Less lead acid batteries have a few uh, uh, disadvantages. Uh, one of them is if you don't keep this thing exercised, if it's not running, it will uh, begin to lose its efficiency. And in fact, if it's not run for say three or six months, the battery may not turn back on at all. It also has a lot of memory. Memory means it remembers how much it was charged the last time. So if you keep charging this battery up to say 50% 50, 50 power, its capacity will ultimately end up being only 50%. Uh, the other thing too is the number of cycles. So it only can uh, be recharged about 300 times before it loses so much, so much of its capacity that it's uh, not worth using anymore. The Lion Energy L1500 has some different technology. It's a lithium ion phosphate battery. So it's gonna be better than the lead acid. And what this is gonna allow you to do is you could, you could literally not use this thing for a year and go back and it's gonna have all of its charge. So it's not gonna lose charge over time and the battery's not going to get worse over time. You don't need to exercise this battery like you do with, with Goal Zero or Solutions from Science. Uh, to charge this one up, it's also much, much quicker. If you plug it into the wall, it only takes about two and a half hours to get a full charge. If you wanna use a 100 watt solar panel, it's about six to eight hours. Uh, the thing that, that's really nice about the L1500 is its weight. It only weighs 40 pounds, so you could take that with you and uh, you know, not have to wheel it, not have to drive it somewhere, but you, it is uh, 40 pounds, but much, much more mobile than its competitors. The battery capacity on the L1500 is uh, 640 watt hours. So again, if you're using a 100 watt device, that's going to Mathematically, you would get 6.4 hours, but because of inverter inefficiency, which is something uh, that plagues all the generators, uh, you're going to get about five and, a, five and a half hours of runtime. The third solution we're looking at today is the Solutions from Science Perfect Power 1800. This is the unit at, you know, at time of this video that is being pushed by Glenn Beck. There are several different websites that tout this product, but the mother company is called Solutions from Science. This unit is also, uh, it also uses lead acid technology. So it has some of those disadvantages that we talked about with the Yeti 1250. Uh, you've got to exercise this battery. If not, it's going to lose its ability to hold a charge. So you've got to use it quite frequently. Also, it only has about 300 cycles. So after, after charging up about 300 times, you're gonna really see a drop off in its uh, efficiency and its ability. Uh, also, to charge this thing up, if you plug it into the wall, it's going to take about 24 hours, and it's about the same to uh, to get power from the, the solar panel. 
So it's quite long in that regard. Now the thing that's tough about it is the weight of the main unit is 85 pounds. It also comes with wheels so that you can drag it around. The extra battery pack that you see on the side weighs uh, 40 to 50 pounds. Uh, that will extend the life of the generator and the ability of the generator, but it's quite heavy. This is a 960 watt hour battery, uh, but because of the lead acid technology, you really only get about 600 watt hours out of it. So we've reviewed three different types of fuelless generators. The first one is the Goal Zero Yeti 1250. The second one was the Lion Energy L1500. And then the third one was from Solutions from Science, the Perfect Power 1800. And a quick aside, this unit here, the Perfect Power 1800, is the one that Glenn Beck has been talking about a lot on his website. So as of, as of the time that we made this video, you'll see a lot of advertisements with Glenn Beck's name on it for this unit. When I look at all three of these different units, they all have pros and cons. And uh, when I look at the Goal Zero Yeti 1250, it, it does have a lot of power. Uh, it's, it's got a, a 1.25 kilowatt hour battery, which is pretty impressive. However, the con to this is it weighs so much. It's 103 pounds. It's, it'd be almost impossible to haul it anywhere. The other thing too is it's got a lead acid battery. Lead acid batteries are inferior to lithium ion batteries. You're only gonna get about 300 charges on this thing before it's gonna run out on you. When I look at the Solutions from Science Perfect Power 1800, it also uses lead acid battery technology. And it weighs a lot. This thing weighs 80, 85 pounds. If you want this battery unit, this thing weighs an additional 40 pounds. It has wheels on it, but it's going to be very, very tough to haul it around. Additionally, both this unit and the Goal Zero Yeti 1250 take a long time to power up. It takes a day to a day and a half just to, just to uh, power this thing up from the wall, let alone trying to get it from, uh, from solar panels. So that leads us to the Lion Energy L1500. This thing weighs only 40 pounds. It's got a little bit less capacity than the Yeti and the Perfect Power 1800 but plenty for you to do the things that you need to do from uh, a survival standpoint. Also, it only takes uh, two and a half hours to power up from the wall and six to eight hours to power up from, uh, from solar power. So for all these reasons, I think your best bet is the Lion Energy L1500.